welcome to our YouTube channel Civil Laces. If you haven't watched our previous videos, please go through all the previous videos as this video is the continuation of our previous video. The link for all those videos are given below in the description. Today we are going to assign the staircase load to our model which we haven't done in uh, the last video so to assign the staircase load at first we have to define the staircase load in our load pattern so go to define tab and uh, go to load pattern there you have to add the staircase load staircase load this staircase load is of live type so um, add live and add new load And then click ok after defining the staircase load in the load pattern we have to add this to our mass source as well so go to mass source as we have already defined the mass source we just have to modify the existing mass so click on modify tab or uh, window appear where you have to add the staircase load the multiplier for the staircase is 0.5 is the staircase is of staircase load is of lifetime and its value is 3.0 kN per meter square and according to IS code for all the live load having value greater than 3.0 kN per meter square the multiplier used is 0.8 if, if you haven't uh, known the concept about mass source I recommend you to watch our video about the mass source. The link is given in the description below. And then you can uh, click to add and then OK. And then OK. Now we are ready to assign the staircase load to our model. Uh, work on the all store platform and click on the incline slab as well as the landing to assign the load make sure that you do not uh, uh, select uh, select other parts of the building except staircase and after that go to assign tab cell load uniform uh, load pattern name staircase load and then load 3.0 kN per meter square and then apply okay now where we have um, applied all the necessary load uh, in our building now the next task is to carry out the analysis of the building before carrying out analysis you have to check whether the model drawn is correct or not so for that go to analyze tab and check model if select all this and then click ok if the model is drawn correctly then uh, no error message will appear and if the model is drawn incorrectly uh, then the error message will be uh, shown and you have to redraw your model as in our case no error has been generated so you can uh, click close this window and carry out the analysis for to carry out analysis go to analyze tab and then run analysis you can access the run analysis from your keyboard as well by pressing the f5 button after the, after the analysis is completed you will see the start animation tab at the right corner of your screen once the uh, analysis is completed you can see all the values of reaction forces as well as the internal forces so to see all the values of the reaction forces as well as the internal forces go to display tab and there you can see the force slash stress diagram and then uh, go to frame slash spire slash spandle slash link forces so a window will appear in that window you will find the different components of forces like axial force, torsion, incline, shear, shear 2, 2, moment 2, 2, incline moment, shear 3, 3, moment 3, 3. 
so for example uh, i am going to show you uh, the shear moment 33 diagram uh, due to dead load means the different type of the um, load and for that particular load you can uh, get the value of moment uh, 22 moment 33 shear 33 um, shear 22 axial force for a particular case in this um, <coughs> in this case i am going to show you the moment 33 diagram for the beams column uh, of our model due to dead load so uh, click on apply and you will get the moment 33 diagram for the image. in this way you can get the value get the cr33 diagram as well and you can change the type of the load uh, cr22 in our building uh, due to a live load whose value is less than 3 you can actually apply and get the value like this in this way you can play around here to know uh, different things well. uh, so what actually is moment 33 moment 22 cr22 cr33 um, i'm going to explain this uh, so um, to understand uh, this um, you need to understand the local axis so for that um, I am going to unlock in the model. So go. So, so to understand the local axis, uh, go on the tick sign that is present on the toolbar. You can access that by using the uh, Control Plus Windows as well from your keyboard. So after uh, that, a window will appear and go to Object Assignment and click the uh, local axis in the frame assignment part and then click apply then you will see this type of the figure over here at the initial at the initial point of your building model you will see three axes x y and z x and y in the horizontal plane and z in the vertical plane this is actually the global axis which is drawn by the software for our whole building and the local axis will be different for uh, all the beams and column and there are so i am going to explain you about the local axes of the uh, beams as well as column uh, and uh, uh, you will be able to understand what moment 2 to moment 3 3 cr 2 to cr 3 3 uh, are so close this window to make you understand about the local axis a simple figure is presented here this is a beam with one end fixed and the far end is free at point p a roller support is provided for this beam the local axis is as shown in the figure along the x-axis the local axis 1 is assigned and along the y-axis local axis 2 is assigned and along the uh, z-axis which is perpendicular to the plane 1 and 2 local axis 3 is assigned Along the axis 1, which is parallel to the longitudinal axis of the beam, the axial force acts. Therefore, uh, for the case of beam, the local axis 1 represents the direction in which the axial force acts. And along the axis 2, the shear force, which is vertical, the shear force is acting in a direction parallel to the local axis 2 so for the case of beam shear force act in the direction parallel to the local axis 2 for z axis which is the local axis 3 when the beam is acted upon by the transverse load it will actually bend like this when it bend like this then in different points um, in uh, different points of the beam moment will act upon and due to this moment and all this moment will be about this axis about the local 3 3 axis so what we can conclude from this is uh, the measure moment that we use for the design of building will be 
m33 and the measured shear force that we will be using for the design of the um, uh, beam will be b22 so for the design of beam the moment in the shear that we have to use is m33 in b22 for the for the beam what actually the m22 in b33 means is m22 is the moment about this about the global axis 2 and b33 is the shear force that act along the global axis 3 which will uh, which will be insignificant in case of beam so we do not use this to value for the design of the beam now for column uh, the direction shown by this uh, red arrow is the global axis 1 the direction shown by this green arrow is global axis 2 and the direction shown by this blue arrow is global axis 3 the global axis 1 is the axis which is parallel to the longitudinal axis of the column along with the uh, axial force developed in the column and uh, this is the global axis 2 and when force act along this global axis 2 the column tries to bend in this way so the moment will develop around this global axis 3 therefore the moment uh, thus develop will be m33 and when the force act along uh, this global axis 2 uh, in the column the shear force b22 also develop so what we can conclude is that when the uh, force act in the column along the global axis 2 direction the shear force develop will be b22 and the moment uh, will be about the uh, global axis 3 which is m33 and when the moon, when the force act uh, along the global axis 3 that is along this uh, uh, blue line blue direction uh, those shear force developed in the column will be b 3 3 and moment will develop along this global axis 2 which is the m 2 2 so for the case of the column both the shear forces that is b22 and b33 and m22 and m33 both are significant and has to be considered uh, while designing the beams while designing the column now coming to our model we can actually see the uh, value of moment m22 m33 due to different forces so click on moment m33 and apply and zoom to see it yeah. this moment m33 in this column due to earthquake load eqx represents the um, moment about the 3 3 axis which is this axis when the load actually acts along uh, global 2 axis and that is along this axis and when we shift to moment 2 2 and we click on apply we will get the bending moment diagram like this which is the moment about the axis 2 2 when the load acts in the uh, this direction that is local axis 3 direction and we can see the value of shear force like this and shear um, 3 3 as well like this so click ok we have come to the end of the today's video for the next video we will be uh, carrying out the uh, detailed designing of different components of the building we will be learning about the uh, story drift and uh, we will be learning about uh, uh, how to carry out detailing how to generate the reports and other things about the uh, ETAPS